My two chains ain't gold at all. I can't buy you a diamond necklace. Being good with money takes practice, but somehow I don't mind at all. Cause no one's got what we got. We hit it up on rooftops. No matter what they say. that time that we got on and had ourselves a lovely show all right well it's been a long time i keep getting asked um how i do certain things can you stream with the quest uh short answer is of course you can uh just a little bit convoluted and a little bit tougher than a pc headset um and it's about time uh i, I promised actually when i was doing my first quest streams i'd show people how it was done um a shout out to Romarcus, because uh, he was the one who really helped me learn how to do it. And it was fun because he and I kind of were going toe to toe with different like streaming methods for a while there, helping each other out. Um, there's been a few videos published of different methods, some that I use, some that I don't use. Um, but there's quite a bit of tweaking, refining and tuning that other people uh, I've never seen, to be honest. Uh, no one else has seemingly fixed the output. Um, there is also a known problem with horizontal tearing. This kind of stuff is just in there. So tonight, uh, the plan is to, uh, firstly open up uh, It's kind of open Q and a about how I do things, the specifics of, of all the config that you need, the files, etc. I'm, I'm literally going to share everything, uh, all in one go, and then we're going to tweak it and tune it, refine it over time. Uh, and that'll be available. Uh, I plan to put that up at zimtalk5.com slash VR. So Keep a lookout. That'll be my streaming platform. What's that going to look like? Uh, it's going to look a bit like this. This is an early thing, so don't... I mean, things are going to change here, definitely. But the basic idea is that you have the ability to go in, single click, get an answer to like, okay, I want to stream with my PSVR. How do I do it? What are Zim's recommendations? And um, it's not just me either. Um, I am going to be opening up to 
other creators and basically asking the question, is there a better way? And if I test it and I try it and there is a better way, then I change the site. Um, and that's the whole point. It's like an evolving thing because the issue with the video, um, although I will do an intro video to all this, the issue with just like a static video is that it's contained. The second there's an update and it breaks it, you can't update it. So I thought, look, why don't we just go back? I've been doing websites for like 15 odd years and I don't mean that all my websites are super pretty or anything. It's just been a passion of mine for many years and I'm like, let's go ahead and share this. I think it makes total sense to do that. Um, you know, we have a mini, mini site for uh, Assetto Corsa, which is a big racing thing that we do um, just to help get people involved in that. And that's been really helpful for them. Uh, just kind of get the information out there. And so took that inspiration and a few people who I committed to getting this information out to. So thank you everyone who's asked questions along the, along the weeks and months that it's been. Can't believe we've had Quest in hand for so long as we have. That's uh, it's absolutely nuts to be honest if you think about it. And um, I'm just glad to be able to now share that information. So um, let me take some of the inputs from you all in terms of what you'd like to know. And I will, um, what I will be doing tonight, and we only have what, two and a half hours of battery life in the Quest, probably minus five minutes of dancing with it. Um, so I'm going, it's actually on the charger now, so I'm just, I'm just joking. Um, <laughs> Uh, we're we're going to go through like five games. I'm going to show you that. And one of the things I wanted to highlight tonight, which I've spent some time on this week in getting ready, um, is, a, is, a brand new, uh, is a brand new game scene. And I, I, like, this is it. This is the, oh, I forgot myself in here. But um, this is it. This is the kind of way that I think Oculus Quest looks best uh, while streamed. And I really think that that's something that's really good. You said you stream with side quest all the time. You're gonna have to tell me how that works because um, that's not a method that I know. But I'm happy to share my methods and then again take feedback. Uh, I'll have a link to the Discord as well so people can come in and say, Zen, why don't you update this thing? And we're just gonna go that way. So there you go. There you go. So um, right, 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 right. So let's see. Da, 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 da. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Right, all good. Pavlov. Pavlov is, is great. I, I just, I've never been able to play multiplayer Pavlov, so that's something that I definitely want to do. Hmm. So, um, SideQuest came out with a better feature. It is literally on their new dashboard. Uh, Salt of Earth, when you say a better feature, what do you mean? Go ahead and tell me, um, and we'll go for it. But right now, I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to start and do this, okay? I'm going to do this. You see, the last thing I saw was the wireless side loading. Wireless side loading, that's fun. That's loads of fun. I love, I love, I love just quest stuff. Now, one of the things I need to show you first before we move on to anything else um, is the audio setup because this is probably the most complicated part of streaming with Quest. The wireless streaming, once you get the code done, not too bad. Like it's pretty straightforward. Um, you know, you kick off a little app and it streams for you there. And the worst part of that is uh, is a horizontal tear that happens that I mentioned a little bit earlier. So you know, you come over here and let's see, is this going to work? should pop in or do I have it? There we go. Yeah. So this is what, you know, streaming wirelessly with the Quest looks like. It's got a little bit of a fisheye effect. I actually prefer that. I like the fisheye effect. I think it, it gives it a kind of a nice clean look. And if, you know, if we, uh, the one thing I haven't sorted here in, in my stream is that if we like take me away and that away, I mean, that, that's just a pretty good looking uh, cast when you're thinking it's just going over Wi-Fi. There's no cable there. Now, Another thing to bear in mind, and I'm going to cover all these tips on the site, is one of the key tricks is if you've got a modern router, and most uh, internet service providers provide a, uh, a new router, it'll have 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gig modes, and if you don't disable the 2.4 at certain intervals, it may downgrade you to 2.4, which hurts you with things like virtual desktop, hurts you with this mechanism, the throughput of the channel is a lot less, and so you end up with a grainier picture, stuttery image, all these different kinds of problems. When we say grainy, it's probably more artifacty uh, than anything else. Now again, it's not perfect. It has little bits of stutter. There's micro stutter definitely in there. And as I said, there's a, um, maybe I can't show it to you there now, but um, certainly games like Beat Saber show it off. There is a horizontal tear as well. Cameron, how are we doing? Your image is really clean. Thank you. Um, so one of the other things is if you look at the sides, right? The sides of this image. So all this, right? Uh, really, really like perfect looking, right? And that's not what the output looks like from this. I do a lot of kind of post work to it to make it look like that. I'm going to share again 
all my files, some examples how you can do the same for yourself with any kind of imagery layout you want, and I'll show you all those tricks. So that's the point of the website that I'm putting together. Should be ready, and I'm thinking a week. Um, it takes quite a bit of effort to get the information organized in a way that's gonna make sense to then launch it, but I wanted to share this with you as a starter. So, there's that. Um, okay, so, uh, what else we got? Now, the other thing, I said audio. Okay, let's go back here, and the thing I need to show, tell you about audio, right, and then we're gonna get into the five apps that we're gonna be playing tonight. Um, the Quest is a unique device in that, and I don't have another consumer device like it, that has two audio ports. It's got one on either side. And that means you have a great advantage and you should make use of that advantage. If you wanna give perfectly clean audio to your audience, then pipe it out of one side, uh, and I'll just swap here scenes again. Pipe it out of one side with, an, with a bracket like that. Those cost, what, 50 cents or something, right? You click that in there. I usually run this back here, drop it through the headset. That's just a one meter braided cable and then that just hangs down my back. Now that's a wireless transmitter, that's the wireless, Rode Wireless Go, and it will send perfect audio at a very nice volume to the line in on your PC. Uh, you just need the other device connected on the input. And then it's controllable, you can vary it from your voice, super easy, right? Now the second part, your mic, I could just go off a room mic if I wanted. Say I'm on the cheap and I don't wanna buy two labs, then I can use this room mic instead. So I've got another lav here, which connects over here and actually goes to this piece. Now this is my best sounding lav uh, that I have, and so that's what I use for my voice. And then I use the Rode Wireless Go, which is like the size of a pack of gum. Very easy, drop that down the back of my t-shirt and away you go and you guys get audio uh, the exact same as me. Now, once you plug into one side of the ports, you're gonna need to plug into the other side, okay? And again, I'm gonna cover this stuff off. Tonight's really a gameplay thing and to take some questions from you. Um, so I'm not, gonna I'm not gonna stay on this for more than five more minutes. Now the second line, get yourself a nice pair of headphones. Um, I'm gonna recommend these guys because I've been using them for, eight, for ages. They're great for airplanes, um, they're, they fold up. They're great for even nighttime, you can sleep on them, all that kind of stuff. They're sturdy, they're Sennheisers, and they have a really soft noise canceling, which is on when, when the blue light is on. You can just turn that off if you want. Um, and then that cables in and again, it's got a flat cable, which is really handy. This is the Sennheiser BT 450s and it's got another right angle bracket that goes into the other side. And then once you've got those two bits, you can just kind of hop into the quest. Now that's, that's option one. Option two that I use is basically I want to use a naked quest, but I want to stream with it. I don't want all this streaming nonsense. Give me the cheap package, Zim. Um, so the, the cheap option, which I've been using for a while, which doesn't sound as nice, but it works. You buy one lav, like the Rode Wireless Go. Uh, you need to buy a lav mic, and I'll give some options, because there's a good cheap one that's half the price of the Rode one, which is almost indistinguishable. Um, you wear that, but you don't necessarily just wear it on your chest where lavs normally go. You wear it on your face. And what I, what I did with this is basically you're picking up the soundbar audio from the Quest, um, with one of these little things, they're called undercovers. Rycoat stickies, sorry, these are called stickies actually, these ones. Let me just get the uh, card out so you guys can see what I'm talking about. That's the thing. These are really inexpensive, Rycoat stickies. These are really handy. And it's a little teardrop shaped sticker with gummy sides on both sides. It can go under a collar of a shirt. Where you guys have seen me mount it is I mount it here just next to my ear and I wrap the cord back here. Use a little bit of duct tape behind the ear, you can use anything really, uh, to route it down to your back. And then what you do is, say I've got the Quest on, right? With the Quest on here, the sidebar audio is delivering not just to my ear, but also to my mic, as long as you don't put it under the padding. And then you're picking up your own voice as well. So it's a really good like halfway house. And if you wanna show the Quest native with nothing else, you just have your controllers, your Quest, and away you go, and that's the kind of side face mic. So that's another option I will detail on the website. And uh, again, I'll price everything up and put Amazon links and stuff like that so you guys can just go to the kit and see if you like it. Again, there's probably two mic options there as well. Right, so, um, all right, 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 right. So, haha, <laughs> questions. Oh, hard luck bear, awesome. Right, so as I said, the real magic behind Quest streaming, and I do use screen copy, a lot of people do. It was kind of a secret for a while, and then people started posting about it, which was fine. Um, but it's 
the, the trouble with screen copy is if you don't know how to install ADB properly, if you don't, if you don't, um, if you don't know the special code to be able to put in to get it to treat properly, it's a real pain in the ass. And I've got a customized bat file that I've been using for a long time. Um, no one has seen my code, actually. I haven't shared it with anybody, uh, not even the other VR YouTubers. And I just wanted to kind of open the gates and kind of give out what I spend days and days testing and getting working, which makes it look fantastic, optimizes the bandwidth throughput over a Wi-Fi network, um, I'm quite close to my 5G router. I do recommend you're in the same room or a room over, not further than that, when you restrict to 5G, because unlike 2.4 gigahertz, it's not as penetrating. The 2.4 gigahertz uh, wavelength is a lot shorter, uh, right? It's not as long a wavelength, which means it's actually, um, it's, it's, it's not gonna punch through concrete and things like that as easily, um, the five gigahertz signal as like the 2.4. So, just bear that in mind, you lose a little bit on the distance. Um, and so if I'm on the other end of the house, it's not gonna work well for me. Uh, the Americans who have like wooden houses, you'll get more distance out of it than our, us Europeans who generally have block houses and that makes it really tough, yeah. Uh, just testing how delayed the stream is for me. Well, wheat, okay, let's go. Uh, ready? I'm gonna say a number and you say the number in chat. Seven. Three seconds. <laughs> like that was quick. Um, so there you go. Excellent. Thank you. See, very good. Good old YouTube. Now, um, again, this is this is like the um, off the top of my head thing. I'm going to actually record a video. Um, I don't tend to do edited videos, but I'll do one of my recorded videos. Start, stop, upload it. Nice quality. So this is all a little bit more logically put. That said, you guys know how I record my videos. One take. I don't script it and I just lay it out of my head. But just a flash for anyone who just joined us. This is the website that um, we're gonna be launching. Uh, let me go ahead, oh, I can't show it to you now. Sorry, I've got it covered up by something else, which is Quest Streaming. Let's get on, let's play some games. Uh, I'll answer some more questions, but what I wanna know is, please let me know if there are things that you want to know to be added to that site. Um, I will look back at chat through everything. Also, if you try to get a message through to me, now this should work if you say M, for instance, I can send a test message, see if Bell kicks it over to me, and then I'll cable up and we'll get going with the quest, all right? ZimTalk5 says, test. There you go. So, but those are the two methods that I use. I really like giving a naked quest stream, and what I mean by that is just showing it as, as it's right out of the box. Um, I think it's fair to the audio quality of the quest, it's fair to how you're gonna use it, um, but for tonight's stream, because we're gonna start with music and the music visualizer, and feck it, we gotta hear some good beats, yeah? I'm, I'm a guy who loves his music. Um, I do use an amplifier as well on my desktop PC. It's just amazing. You guys can tell I'm, I'm a big fan of Sennheiser. Hard They're luck my favorite. Bears UK says, this is a TTS test. <laughs> and my wife wrote the bot that does that, so thank you to her. She's a coder and she knows what she's doing, uh, unlike some of us. So anyway, uh, the other thing that I would just say, if you really want to, there is another option for mic, okay? Some people have found it to be a little bit on and off. Um, I will cover this one as well separately another time. The Antlion Mod Mic. Thank you to Antlion for sending me one of these. Says, where are we dropping boys? Oy, 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 three, oy. <laughs> there you go, Wheat, exactly. I was thinking just the same thing when I was watching uh, Trump's inauguration. Right, so there's this little nub here, right at the back, right? You can see it's at the end of the trail of where this goes. Now I've got quite a big head, which you can tell by the quest. Um, but this thing just snaps right on, and then you can actually have it. I have to have it keep, keep it pretty far away from my head, um, but that's how that works, right? If you wanted, that's another kind of wireless microphone solution, which is, which is really decent, actually. It's finicky as hell, and I will describe that again in the site, uh, but here you go. So here's my kind of two bit uh, quest. We're gonna go ahead and get into the actual stream portion here now. And let me just make sure that we're good. So what I'm doing, and I'll just call out what I am doing. So I've got that, again, one meter braided cable. I use one meter, you can use 1.5 if you wanna put it down a pocket or something. I actually don't mind the gravity and the weight of the uh, little device isn't so much. I just dangle it down the back of my back. And that way it's kind of not pressed against my skin. It's got good uh, throughput. You can connect it to something if you want. Um, 
The Rode Wireless Go is good, but watch the battery life. The battery life on it, like you have to remember to charge it. Otherwise, you are going to have some, uh, some time when it doesn't work very well for you. Now I'm going to switch back from my room mic uh, to my lav. And this is the lav on my chest at the moment. This is just clipped here. I found that that works quite well. It's out of the way. I don't smack it or anything like that. Now this guy, this guy is for me. So this is, as I said before, this is the um, Sennheiser BT450. When you go in here, you're in your own world. <laughs> my only difficulty is I don't tend to get Bell uh, into my headset. And again, I just coil the cord up and I just drop it behind my shirt. Uh, some of you might be like, oh God, is it gonna get sweaty then? To be honest, um, mine doesn't really. I don't sweat a ton. I'm not one of these like big burly fellas who gets super sweaty or whatever. Um, but it is something I wanted to show you how all that works. Now there's probably a tidier way to do the back than I've got it. As you can see, you'll see two cables going back, right? Um, but it, it works for me. I usually turn on the, uh, the, blue, uh, the suppressing sound suppression, uh, which is really nice. It gives it kind of like a, a calming effect. I love it. And the first thing we're gonna try tonight, we got five things we're gonna do, all right? So the five things we're gonna do is we're gonna do ev every Every way visualizer, that's the first one. Then we're gonna move on to time stall. We're gonna do uh, Affected, the manor, which is a horror game. Yay. Death lap and vacation simulator to round it out with something childish, because uh, yeah, why not? So anyway, I just thought I'd uh, give you those quick tips if you wanna know. The code is really where it's at though, I gotta say. So when I get a chance to release that to you, that'll be the big one. Uh, follow me on Twitter if you want. I will be announcing it there and on the Discord, of course. I don't know why this has been this like this for me for ages. Um, it's, it's like it's been broken forever. It's really weird. So now I've side loaded this. This is something you can get on SideQuest. If you haven't set up SideQuest, again, there's tons of videos on that. So um, great, great ways. I think uh, VR Oasis, uh, Mike from VR Oasis uh, did a great tutorial on how to get SideQuest working. Here's the Everyway Visualizer. What this is, is you have your own music. You drop it onto the file through SideQuest, for instance, into the music folder. You go into the visualizer and you can chill the feck out. Now, all right, 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 right. Time stall, you got time to come back, don't worry. A little bit of stutter there at the start I saw. I don't normally check this stuff out in advance, but I did. Hard Luck Bears UK says, is there a way to swap the gallery button on the bar to the Oculus TV? Is there a way TV? to swap the gallery button on the bar to Oculus TV? Uh, don't know, actually. I don't think so. Now here, let's start off with, so I've loaded tracks. I can adjust that. Drop it down like that. Maybe that's a little bit more comfortable, but this has a couple of different settings. I'm a big fan of visualizers, you guys know that. <laughs> I like what he's, he or she has done. The dev has done a good job. Thank you for early access to this. This is really neat. And I think this is available for like five dollars. Seems pretty neat. And you, I'm just loaded some Monster Cat on here. And it's going with the music. I tried this earlier. There's 20 presets at the moment. Try not to move my head so you can see. I think it's moving very subtly down. You see it's going? <laughs> yeah. 
The best two should definitely come with the sub pack harness. I love sub packs. Now I can sub pack actually if I want. I so should. Should I? That's an optional thing. If you're really a power user, I can put a sub pack on. Now sub pack is a base shaking backpack, which you basically you line out of here into the sub pack, and then you tap your headphones into the sub pack. You can also Bluetooth it through experimental mode. I have tested that. That's a bit finicky at the moment. It doesn't really work very well. Experimental Bluetooth connection straight from the sub pack to the headset. I do love these visuals though. I think it's one of those things that if it was a paid app, I'd probably be like, okay, I'd like a little bit more. But actually, I've been very impressed with this. Oh, here comes the spike. Bring it, Equalizer. Now, he doesn't have much going on behind you. I'm gonna say he, I don't know if it's he. There's nothing back there. So I would like to see even a mirror of that back there. And I think this is the one that this stops at me. Let's see, yeah, it is. Whereas I, I wanted to see this continue like the rest of them like, but it's a cool app. And I've seen a bunch of visualizers. This is probably one of the most capable, but it's not very surrounding. I do want it to surround a little bit more. Uh, but the nicest thing is you can use it with your own music. You can drop in whatever you want. Um, so you just drop it just like an Android device to the SD card music. Uh, here's one that I loaded earlier. This is all Monster Cat music. And then they've got a little browser here where you can How are you streaming from the pump quest? the volume if you want. Oh, that's tied straight to the system volume. Let's listen to that for a minute. clipping on us. Sorry. <laughs> I got a little bit too into it. It was it was going fine for me. Thank you for that, Kester. <sighs> yeah, I'm getting too into it. For me, the audio is perfect. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I really like apps like this. You can just chill out. I think I saw a bedtime mode. I have no idea what that is. Maybe it's like it plays for 15 and then you Die in your sleep peacefully. I think that's probably what it is. Hopefully that clipping's gone now. Okay. Let's just check out the options here. Volume I've shown you. Cycle delay, so you can swap between things more frequently. Starts off at a default of 10 seconds. I don't know what bedtime mode is. Let's check it out. What the? Oh, bedtime, oh, that's cool. Bedtime mode is for when you're lying down. Oh. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. It was just that really intense bit? All right, Robin. Thanks for the feedback, dude. Very helpful. I like that it doesn't just snap, that it transitions so you know where the menu went. There's a lot of thought went into this, actually, and it's very capable. Totally worth the five quid, actually. I'm gonna take back what I said earlier. Um, and then you've got, like, different things. You can just go for the different options. I'm just gonna flip through real quick, give you a feeling for what's there in case anyone's like, hey, maybe I'll buy that. You can also go to the disc their Discord at the moment, and they might give you an alpha key if you're interested. So look them up. It was just hosted on SideQuest Legends, which is definitely worth following. 
This is one of my favorite ones, Radial Zones. Oh, I just swapped it for me. That's just really nice. That's the thing. Like, I totally love that. That's really neat. Luca, if you just missed um, the intro, I talked a lot about how this works, but I'm gonna be publishing a site very shortly that gives all the details you need. Now this is every way visualizer. Second, cool, right? Quest owners do give it a thank, eh? I love the bedtime mode. That's amazing. This is awesome. This really gets you wanting to jump. And if anyone's on PC and you really want an awesome visualizer, go download an old version of Winamp, couple it with the Milk Drop visualizer. That's what I've used at the start of my streams for the longest time. Looks awesome, very low footprint. Enjoy your MP3s again. I know all you kids be streaming. I still buy CDs. I rip them to 320 kbps mp3 and that's how I do it. I know it's lost. It's not lossless. Ah, you can go feck yourselves. <laughs> it doesn't have to be lossless for me to enjoy myself. But I gotta say, the music on Monster Cat is a steal. Uh, for five quid a month, five dollars a month, and you get access to all that stuff. You can download albums and music. Awesome. And you can use it creatively across Twitch, YouTube, all that kind of stuff, sign me up. And I don't like subscriptions, but that's one for me that makes loads of sense. Hence why I play Monster Cat every intro for the last five years, huh? So there you go. Anyway, that's that one. Let's get on to some games, eh? Sorry to take you away from the music. You probably like it as much as I do. Ah, it's lovely. Second good. Every way visualizer, every way visualizer. There you go. And that's spelled E-V-R-Y. So E-V-R-Y way visualizer. There you go. Next thing up, we got time stall. All right, let's see if we can find Mr. Time Stall. Bam, 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 bam. Where are you, time stall? I know you're in here somewhere hiding from me. I should probably just, yeah, I missed it. Where are you? Where are you? I still want to do Cave Digger and Racket Fury. And there's so many games that I just want to come on and just have fun with, which I'll probably be doing on Twitch. For those who don't know, um, I have decided to do ad hoc stuff on Twitch, so uh, keep eyes out. Twitch.tv slash ZimTalk5. Um, a to Z. Come on, time stall. Starts with a T. Can't miss it. How did I miss it? Time stall. Oh, I thought it was blue. That's why. Anyway, there we go. Dark Angel 3 says, near the bottom on the left. <laughs> Thanks, Dark. Just barely beat you. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, what I do with this, by the way, this is um, a layering, a three layer process to get to how, how clean and nice this looks. But you really have to do some, uh, some kind of alpha layer work in a, in a photo editor um, before you get to this. But this is really nice. The output is not symmetrical, by the way. That's all thanks to very um, detailed, again, calculations that I've done to make it look that nice. But I wanted to share it because it's like, so I'll share some templates and um, people can just use it if they want. Please select the locomotion option. I don't know why it's over here. It's a bit weird. Let me see if I can reorient that. Sometimes if you go back to Oculus Home and then resume. Nope, you're going to be stubborn, are you? Well, you better put up your dukes, mister. Look at that, it's a kind of a wiggly finger. It's like the kind of finger you get in a uh, rectal exam. All right, please select the locomotion option. Zaxter MC says, you said something about a new router, but I live in Egypt and can't get the latest week stuff. Is due to arrive in just ah. a moment. New crew members, please ensure that you are prepared. 
Don't worry, Zach. Human. You I'll, I'll touch on that. The requisite smart gloves. Y you don't need the like 5G or anything. Will allow you to remain unaffected by the fantastic leaps time warping abilities. Don't worry, we'll get back to that. <laughs> this is kind of remember. Put it on those smart gloves, human. They go on your hands. So far, quality on this is really good. I, I remember Nathy saying he liked this, um, and I just haven't had a chance. Okay, that's cool. Putting your hands on? Hello. You received this message. Congratulations. You are now officially part of the Fantastic Leaps crew. We look forward to working with you on our beautiful crowdfunded spaceship. You have been recruited to accompany us on the way to our first destination, uh, Terra Prime. And we'll be working alongside a talented robot crew while you assist me, the captain, personally. Please note that your employment does not mean that you are privileged to a premium backer status on this crowdfunded vessel. The fantastic leap has arrived. New crew members, when you're ready, please use the hand scanner to board the ship. <laughs> Honestly, this looks amazing. This is really cool. I enjoyed it quite fun. Fun puzzles, the good humor looks great. Excellent. Well, keep me, keep me honest here, Robin, because I can't be on this more than half an hour, okay? Half an hour per, per game tonight. Otherwise, we'll never make it through it. I really want to. We're just kind of doing a taster. And I'll continue them on Twitch later if uh, we get a chance. But the plan was basically talk high level about the streaming thing. How that works. And then show off what kind of quality you can expect if you follow those instructions. And again, if you come up with a better method, please tell me. My DMs are open. Discord's open. Just drop me a line. We're doing a live show. Yeah, this is time stall. Exactly. Is it free? No, I don't think it's free. Uh, here, I should probably put that in so people are not confused. Let me see that. Um, Robin Kester says, Bell, please remind right, him to see. move that to works. the next game in 30 minutes. There we go. Just remind me to change that later. Okay. Right. Hello, little boy. Welcome aboard the Fantastic Leap Shuttle, human. I'm the captain. <laughs> All right, captain. Give me a handshake. Shit. It's good to meet you. Guys, this is my new human assistant. These are basic obedient bots, or bobs for short. Bobs work in pairs and are always at my beck and call. They're not all named Bob, though. That would be confusing. This Bob is Dave, and that Bob is Randy. <laughs> I suppose you would like to know what your first task is. Well, uh, we need someone with five fingers to wear those smart gloves and activate the hyperdrive. It's the only thing on this ship designed with a bit of a flaw. All right. <laughs> this is... Ah, the fantastic leap. You'd never think that all of this was built hastily into a crowdfunded budget. It really is impressive. <clears throat> Captain? That's Victoria, by the way, the ship's computer. <laughs> Bob One Book. Of the biggest expenses, so we had to cut a few corners elsewhere. Not me, though. I was assembled from the highest quality parts crowdfunding can buy. Victoria has an exquisite skill. She can manipulate time using the ship's warp core. Go on, Victoria. Show the human what you can do. Human, I am about to slow down time. Because you're wearing the smart gloves that are linked to my system, you'll be able to move around in real time while this occurs. Three, two, one. Go on, human. You can move around and grab things. It's a yarn? What is that? Oh, is it just like a holdy thing? That's a suitcase. Travel around the universe. Terra Prime. The adventure starts You're doing now. great, human. By the way, don't tell the captain, but this ability of mine has been developed mainly to keep him safe. He tends to get himself into trouble. Sushi! Let's time up again, shall we? My human assistant is unfazed by the time warping? Incredible! I wonder if that'll come in handy sometimes. Captain, now that we're all done introducing ourselves to the human... Maybe you should start making your way to the bridge. Victoria's right. We should head to the bridge. But first, I want to show you around. This is cute. Let's see how the party preparations are going. 
We promised the premium backers aboard this ship a grand party once we got to Terra Prime. Are you ready, human? When you are, just go and select the welcome hall from the shuttle navigation hologram over there. And let's get going. Uh, I missed that. Do the what now? I know he definitely said to do something. Was it this? Can I blow this? <laughs> That's brilliant! That's great. Oh, this is quite good. I like this. I like this. Time stall is $14.99. Yeah, good. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Universe? I would agree. Oh, these are. That's how you save your progress. That is ingenious. They're the N64 cartridges, basically. What is that? Can I have you? Oh, I used to have a hockey stick when I lived in Alaska. Portland Swamp Rats. Now the question is, can, can you actually use it? Uh, it doesn't like multi-hand control. Or maybe it does. Ah, it works. That's cool, they got a working hockey stick. Good. How are we on uh, audio visuals and all that kind of stuff? We good? What was the name of the uh, visualizer? It was Every Way Visualizer. E-V-R-Y-W-A-Y Visualizer. Yeah. Every Way. And me sueños. That's in my dreams, isn't it? Right. Let just pick up the receiver. Hello, human. I see you're calling from the shuttle. Uh, where is this place? Who are you? What can you do for me? I give advice in tricky situations. Anything else? Sadly, I don't think even humans are allowed. Okay. Now, uh, I'm gonna assume I need to... Shoot. It's clearly not the right way out. What am I supposed to do? Uh, hello? Sir? Sir? Sir. What is that? The art of time still. This is how to start a major malfunction in your colleagues. Alright. Okay. The stream is a bit laggy. Yeah. It happens every so often. Um, I was messing, unfortunately, with... Uh, this is cool! What a great menu system. Look at this, this is how you change sound? That's neat. All right. Oh, select the destination. So I just go there. Oh, okay. I guess that's how you do it. There you go. Thanks to Zach, anyway. Hmm. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> Bell, please remember. Why does it keep moving me around? That's really weird. Ah, uh, here we are, human. The premium backers welcome hall. All premium backers get defrosted and gather here before they're assigned to their luxury cabins. So, are they humans or are they all robots? Victoria, what's happening? Captain, I'm detecting a massive solar flare emitting from that star. The solar flare seems to have had an undesirable effect on the robot crew. My robot crew? Oh, no. This doesn't look good. Time stalling in three, two, one. Oh! Human, this ship has the ability to manipulate time using the warp core, which I have just activated. Time will be slowed down for a short duration. Please ensure that the captain is saved within this time. I fear we need him. Good luck. Uh... So, I'm supposed to go to the captain, right? That's the captain. Oh, so, do I need to move him? Do I need to put another... I'm really confused. How does... <laughs> I don't really know how this works so far. Uh, maybe more?
floor? That looks like it might have worked, human. Skip to the end of time stall by pressing the fast forward button on your wrist. Oh, that's so cool. No! Captain! I'm sorry. What happened? What got him? What? Hey. You can sit on the bubble wrap if you want. There's, or you can sit on the Twitch thing. You've been popping all stream? Come on in, say hello. Uh, you got the plug. Uh, oh, you changed. <laughs> go get your headphones and I'll jack you into the speakers. That's what I'll do. This is my wife, Karen. Hi. Way, she's trying to hear you, all of you beautiful people. The cat non-stop show says, "Yut." Yay! <laughs> Zim dances like a god. Everywhere, hey Dev, hey thanks. Do you want to go get that? Isn't that mess with my hearing of you? No, you'll be fine. Just, just get. What? Oh, do you want me to... Wait, wait, they can hear. Dark Angel oh, but you can't hear... Hi, wifey. Oh, jeez, how's that gonna work? Uh, sorry, I have no way of giving you the game. I have no way of giving you the game, Karen. The cat non-stop show says, Hedge. <laughs> you're, you're... Even if I brought the Uh... Yeah, I don't think so. You should probably... It's only three seconds lagged, so just... Grab your phone and listen to the stream. This is what I would recommend. With headphones on. Da, 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 da. I can't I Not if you have proper headphones on. <laughs> so basically, it's just going in the room. I'm sorry. The cat non-stop show it's, says. It's only because I'm of how I'm, do, I'm doing the good good audio quests tonight. So, sorry, it's closed loop. This is great. I just had a great run of like the first hour of like tell everybody how the, the streaming works. It's like oh, it sounds perfect, and then you come in, and you're like. Oh, here's a use case that not <laughs> it's gonna that break everything. Totally for. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'll have to think about that one. There is a way to do it, but I don't want to muck with things right now because um, it would be passing the audio back to the desktop, and then what do I do with it there? Somehow pass it back to you, but I I, I don't want to so, deal with that right so now. What okay. Are you, what are you playing? Time stall. We're in a tricky situation. Where we have to save this captain. Ah, oh, here we it's are. Very nice. Even the Premium Backers Welcome Hall. Yep. All Premium Backers get defrosted Sorry, and gathered here before they're assigned to their luxury nose cabin. Nose peaking, make sure to mention the guide. I will, Robin, absolutely. I'm an old school nose peaker. Victoria, what's happening? Captain, I'm detecting a massive solar flare emitting from that star. The solar flare seems to have had an undesirable oh, effect on the God. robot crew. Oh, God, did you see that? Oh, no. Right. So this is pretty easy. I need to check the boxes out of here, make sure they're not hurting anybody, and then... But this is so cool. This is really nice. And then I just need to basically use the uncorked bottles as propelled rockets. Oops! And then this one as well. All right, let's see if it works. Do it, do it, do it! Run, Captain! Run! He's running. But Okay, it's very much like Astrobot, but for the PC. You have these challenges, you get to play them. Oh, sorry, for the PC, what am I saying? This is on the bloody quest. You can play it on PC as well, though. Hey, cat, how's it going? All right, how are we going, how are we going, there we go. Cardboard robot killer. Three and one can robots fly, so they continue. Go on to the next challenge. How much time are we on? We're... 
All right, just 10 more Captain, minutes. That burst of radiation from the solar flare could have resulted in untold damage to the robot oh. the ship. Impossible. This ship and its crew will never let me down. I have my doubts, Captain. Maybe you and the human should investigate <laughs> the passenger cabins to evaluate the damage. Okay, if only to prove to you how loyal my crew are to their captain. You ready, human? Go and see Dark the Angel 3 says, the I think you missed the everyday day. We can get going. <gasps> Looks like Randy wants something. What's that? Uh, I saw the devs. I saw him. I saw him dark. Human, why don't you look around and see if you can find a way of ordering a pizza? There must be a number somewhere. Right, pizza time. But thank you, Dark. Yeah, I saw them. I said something. I don't remember what I said. Uh, what can you do for me? What is this place? What, what can you do for me? Anything else? Back. Back. What is this place? Tell me more. Oh, wait. Pizza. One, two, two, four. Right. One. Wait. What? Call. One, two, two. Give me pizza. I'm in your pizza! D stop! Woohoo! Feck it! Jesus! Is that how you deliver pizza in the future? Oh my god, it. Oh, it looks good. Oh. Look at that pizza physics. Oh, the pizza physics are great. Oh, if only. Hello? Mine. Do a sexy dance pizza. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. That's amazing. This game is worth it just for the pizza physics. <laughs> Who did this? Can you rip it? Oh, you can kind of like try to pull the pizza apart and spazzes. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay. Would you like the pizza? Here. You're welcome, Dave Bot. Or was he Rudolph? I don't remember which one he was. He was one of them anyway. Pizza physics for the win. Wheat04 says, pizza physics. <laughs> I love the pizza physics. My favorite thing. Right, now we can go to number two. We're 4% complete apparently. And I like how it reminds you, hey, you can swap locomotion because that saves player frustration. This is great so far. It's like really good. All right. Tell me if the game needs to be a little bit louder. You can use joystick movement. Yeah, that's what I'm Week doing. Zero I'm using four joystick. says, can you use joystick movement? Absolutely, Wheat. That's the way to do it. Oh, this is the only thing that's feckin' weird is the, the menus are in a fixed spot. Right, passenger cabin. Save the captain. Captain. Captain's Here log. Here we are, human. One of the luxury cabins for the premium backers. Don't make a mess. Oh, hell. What? The... Oh, it's telling me to go there. I can't go there. I can't, I can't go there. Oh no, for some reason they got confused and now it wants me to stand in the middle of my desk. Um, all right, give me just one second. I'm gonna just duck under. You need something to f after finally finishing. Red matter is not easy. No, I, I'm trying joystick. It's not doing it. <laughs> um, okay, let me see if I can duck under my desk. Maybe I'll do it. Wheat04 says, maybe with joystick Ow. movement. If I die, it was worth it. I'm near all the cables. The hell? Can I restart? Thank you. Oh, crawl out from under my desk. <laughs> oh, the beauties of the quest, huh? Duck and roll. Duck and roll. You know, I've done that. I did that outside with, the, um, actually when it's laterally inverted, when you go head over heels with the quest, uh, it loses tracking. Or it used to. I, t I tested that about eight months ago. Here I went outside are, in, in my yard and I did a duck and roll. For the premium Look up dog attack on my mess. channel. Yeah. See it. Oh, hello. We don't need room service right now. Thank you. Whoa. Whoa. Ah, missed me. Oh no! Help me, human! Shit! This is such a cool game, wow. Help me, human! Well, so what's gonna happen? How do I push that? Oh, that's the battery. 
Right, so you need to go somewhere. I'm definitely gonna need the battery for something. Question is what? Wait, what's it doing? It Dark doesn't want me to go over there. Three says, um, this is hilarious. Let's see, maybe that. I'll put some kind of power online. Huh. This is hilarious. This is an amazing game. This is great. And, and the thing is, it's nice that I'm not doing like loads of it, because then... Look at that. They've even got reflections in there. This is on a fucking Android phone. <laughs> That's what the quest is. That guy's got some kind of... He's trying to shoot somebody. Look, let's put that there. Uh, what is that? Is that a puck? Is that a puck? It's actually a puck. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, now what? Uh, I should probably use this here as well, just to make sure that doesn't hurt him. Now what's the key for? Oh, the drawer. It's like room escape, this is. Oh. And uh, we want to put that where? Okay. Um, we need to somehow repair the glass, right? Feck it, what do we do there? It's like a mirror? You can just... Shit, is time almost up? 30 seconds. More pucks. And balls. Don't worry, Captain. Zaxter uh, MC says the glass is repaired. I think he's all right, is he? Dark Angel Three says, "Yup." Oh, the glass and is so. a force field. Yeah, good point. It was some kind of. Oh, it's. Star ends in ten. Here we go. Nine, eight, yep. seven, six, five, Cover him. Four, three, two, one. No! Robo Buddy! Well, we saved the captain. But we missed the three and one. So he died. Cool! Activate party mode. I don't know how that works. Brain freeze. Only one more Bob, or do you want to keep going? So you're supposed to basically get three stars, so you have to save the three Bobs. The captain, the two Bobs. Got it. Cool. Is it a okay, oh, cool. Oh. Week zero four says, Space. "All right, I'm buying this Quick. game when Human. I can." Take the ray gun and get rid of these pesky bugs. Space bugs! Space bugs! Oh! 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 oh. They're gooey. Die, space bugs! Oh! I gotcha. Oh, right. The force field. No need to panic, Dave. When you are quite finished being distracted by the bugs. Alert. Multiple crew malfunction warnings in the diner. Come on, human. Let's go and see what's happening. Dark Angel 3 hungry. says, enjoy. Go to run. See you, Dark. Have fun. It's the angel. She flappeth her wings and leaves. Oh, that's Dave. What's this guy's name? Randy. It's Randy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's fine. It's all good. I miss my wife. I wish she would be on stream. I'm sorry this doesn't work, Karen. I'm sorry it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, it made a fleshy sound. That's not good. Uh, I want more pizza, actually. Sorry. Oh. Robin Kester says it's about that time at Zim Talk 5. Give me the pizza. Ah. Ah. Uh. Pizza. Damn it. That's what I wanted. I wanted pizza. I thought it was about that time. We're going to switch games. Uh, so that was Time Stall. Quick intro to that. Holy cow, that is going to sell copies. For sure. Absolutely. Right. On to the next one. So we've done two titles so far. We are at 63% battery. Yeah, definitely a good time to switch. Okay. Third title. Affected the Manor. 
This is a beautiful game. I've played this way back in the DK2 days, which is, this is a horror game, but they've changed some things. So initially it was like a clown setting, um, like an old hotel setting. This VR experience is for personal home use only and subject to the end user agreement. Of course it is. Oh, goody. Good night, Zach. Catch you another time. Zaxter MC says, well, I gotta go okay. sleep, see ya. Who is it? Like a 3D menu. Okay. Best. Best experience standing up with headphones, you fuckers. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. All right, hang on. Let's change the uh, name of the game. Fucking cool environment, though. It's really nice. All right, hold on. All right, so affected. Affected the manner. Okay. You know what? That bright yellow doesn't look right. It's not right with the force. <laughs> uh, and, and... Uh, we'll leave it. Alright. I know they want it that way. I'm gonna go for like... Just keep clicking until we find some... That looks good. That could be creepy. All right, good enough. Okay, affected the manner of this. Let's go, rotation speed, normal. Snap rotation off. Hey, they're starting it off with great settings. The gauntlet coming soon, excellent. Ouija board, tutorial, nah. Who needs a tutorial, let's go. That's a proper, like, Ouija board thing. Look at that. Warning. <laughs> it's intense and uses jump scares, loud noises, and flashing images. Do not play if you have any known health issues or you're a nervous disposition. <laughs> Love it. But, like, look, the, bound, the, bound, the border around our show looks so nice. This is totally different. Holy shit, this is not the same game at all. I don't remember, I don't remember anything, anything like this. And I'm just normally walking. Great. Kick it up a notch. Because of course it's gonna be good. All right. All right, one of three things. Volume up, volume down, or volume okay? Up, down, or okay, you tell me. Vote now. Guess this is the manor. All right, no problem. I'm good at I'm good at manners. <laughs> huh? What is that? Can't touch it. Not that I'd want to. Creepy little girl doll or something. Seems like a bad idea. Hold on. My ears, like, give me some problems. Okay. Not been scary so far. This is fine. But it's... N I thought it was going to be like the same game, it's not. Oh, I had a little loading blip there, I think. 
We seem fine. It's a bit dark, but it's okay. Oh! Oh, fucking shit! Hot damn, that was fluid. Fucking. Okay. I take it back. I'm not scared. Can we just close this? Shit. Ah, shit. Okay. That rolling, gliding door is like way better than um, when when the doors were uh, open shut, like bam doors, bam bam. The environments are really nice. I heard a whisper. It's like a fake fireplace, then. Tell you what, I think that's a little bit bright of a background for something like this. Let's go darker. And let's give you a little bit more gamma, I think. Just trying to make it brighter because it's pretty dark. Wheat Zero Four says, "Okay, I don't like horror games that much. Gonna go BRB to check in when you're done with it." Okay. It's like proper dark. I'm trying not to ruin the look either. Okay. There we go. Audio quality is amazing. <laughs> uh. ah. Relax. Just relax. Relax, relax, relax. It's okay. I'm just gonna take it easy. Give me a flashlight. Why do I have a feeling that didn't help? This is running quite well. There's some stutters and stuff, but other than that, it's like... There's pentagrams on the wall. Oh, that makes me feel good. 
<laughs> Gonna need more trousers. Oh, no, 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 no. They really did a good job. This is not the same as the original game at all. I thought it was the same game. So I wasn't going to even play it. And they contacted me. They're like, hey, do you want to try it? I'm like, yeah, why not? I thought it was going to be the exact same. I don't recognize anything. The style is even improved. Like, the, the way they're scaring is improved. The creepy photos, I remember that. It's a pretty impressive request. I don't think I want to turn that picture around. Ah, shh. Please don't do that. You see that little girl? I saw her. Hey, how's it going, Blender? Ah, Jesus. Blender boy says, hello. Feckin' hell. Give me the heebie-jeebies now. Shit. Feck. <laughs> Fucking goosebumps, eh? <laughs> Were we just playing a fun game? What happened? <laughs> Hang on, I hear my cat. <laughs> Sorry, I had to let my cat out. Oh. Uh, no, a total of like 25 minutes, Robin, yeah. How much we got left? We got probably another 10 minutes now. Yeah. We got, what, two games left? So, 11.30 is about when the headset will tank. And it's coming up to 10.30, so. I'll even go to 35 with this one. Uh, come on. Not very scary, it's just a library. Silly library. Do 
the audio is really good. Okay, let's just go. Let's just go. Protect that. Protect that little girl. No. Shy, what the hell's going on? I nearly bit my tongue. Holy feck. <laughs> Thank you for the sub, everywhere. Oh, feck. <laughs> it's very well done. Wow, we've come a long way in terms of horror. And those slidey doors are feckin' creepy. I'm so glad I have a flashlight. It's like my little piece of sanity. Shit. They took my flashlight. Shit. Oh, it's bookcases. Oh. Be nice, be nice, be nice. Be nice. Uh oh. Robin Kester says, You shouldn't have said such nice things about the flashlight earlier, laughing smiley.
Oh, the library looks amazing. God, I'm, I haven't had the chills like this in a long time. Please don't wet yourself on stream, that's a good idea. Seems safe enough. Little doll. What's she gonna do? Oh, I think it's over. Pretty. Huh. Piano. All right, let's just get out of here. Hell. Okay. Is this a dead end? No. This is a big old feckin' manor. It's a lot of books. It's a fire hazard if you ask me. Oh, uh, that reminds me of Resident Evil. I'm not too happy about that. Famous last words. <laughs> what did I say? Oh no. I once lived in an apartment with one of these. Big dodgy lifts. <sighs> no problem. Super fine. Although there's a thumping. Some kind of music. Not good. Oh, for feck's sake. Light one or dark one? I'll bet you most people go there. Fucking evil. <sighs> Where <am I? laughs> 
Wow, that's so different. The, the, the jump scares, like in the piano room, I thought the piano was going to fall. That's what they did in the original, but they just totally mixed it up. Well, I'm glad to get away from that. Feckin' let's get away from that completely. Goodbye, good night, I'm done with that. <laughs> let's do something nice. <laughs> oh, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, you bastards probably like that, huh? Huh, you sick feckers. <laughs> oh, jump scares. I actually kind of promised myself I wouldn't do many more of them because I think it's giving me gray hair. Are you okay? Are you okay, Daddy? No, that's not the lyrics of Alien Ant Farms. Smooth Criminal. Um, are you okay, Annie? Annie, not Daddy. Yeah. Ah, right. All right, let's move on. So, I will go ahead and pick something lovely and bright and lovely outside. Let's go for um, something simple. What are we going to do next? What's our next one? Death Lap. So, let's do something kind of grayish. There we go. And this will be Death Lap. Let's just sort this out and we'll be good. We'll be all good. Oh, that was fun, wasn't it? That was just buckets of fun. Don't you just love it when those things happen? Oh, yeah. Feckin'. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. So this next one is going to be Death Lab. I got a chance to play this before. Um, I wasn't too impressed with it. This is when... When did I do Death Lab? I did Death Lab... Um, I'm trying to remember. It was at OC6, I guess. Yeah, the devs and I got together and we had a little shindig and that was all right. Uh, if you came here looking for uh, uh, how to stream with the quest stuff, we covered that at the beginning. Uh, you can watch it back later. Um, and I'm also I'm going to be doing a site that's going to be zimtalk5.com slash VR. So um, in the future, that's where the tips and tricks of how to stream with the Quest and all the other headsets is going to be going to be located, just in case that's what you're into. All right. For anyone who uh, was wanting to come back, now it's safe. No more scary stuff. We're just going to go do Death Lab, which sounds like a horror game, but it's actually like Mario Kart. So I think we're fine. That's going to be Death Lap. All right. Oh, let me change the uh, coloring because the clearly I've messed with it since. I'll go ahead and take that second one off. Okay. Whew. Whoa, Nelly. Right. Okay. So Death Lap it is. Uh, let's go ahead and get into Death Lap. So 42%. So we're doing well. Got another 20% for this. So we'll do a couple of levels in this, and then we'll touch on um, uh, our good friend, ah, our good friend uh, Vacation Simulator. This is by Oswe Games. Good music at the intro, I like that. Is it loading? Is that what's happening right now? I haven't pressed anything yet. Sounds like music that's gonna get me in trouble later though. It definitely sounds like something popular. Canon A1, nice. Yeah, you like this? Yeah, this is all right. I like this shirt, it's from Giddy Tees. It's time for TV's most exciting hour of combat, collisions, and... Chaos! Welcome to the show, my little pistons. Where death and destruction blend raw horsepower and engine. I'm your most wonderful, marvelous, handsome host, Nitro C. Pain! What's happened? The screen, it's off! What do you mean, an issue with the screen? You morons! I will shut you off! I will shut you all off! <laughs> Alright. 
sorry, I, uh, just had to solve some problems. That's better, isn't it? Welcome back! My show is my one true masterpiece. It's supposed to look the dubbed, by the way. The a career spent chasing the sound barrier and winning races the world around. <laughs> I like this TV. It's fun. It's a lot better looking than uh, when I first played it, to be honest. It's really been polished, I can tell. It's nice. Alright, let's see. Uh, I like Mr. Flaming Skull. This is the weapon because that you I use. do so enjoy a good crash. <laughs> Best single player to start. This reminds me of Blaze Rush. Huh. Select a race. Uh, training. Oh. So I guess those are like defaults or something. Uh, additional settings: direction, stick, steer. Try both types of control and choose the one that suits you best. You've been wise to familiarize yourself with the controls before jumping into Nitro's maniacal racing tracks. Let's start with the basics. Combat. You're driving a hot rod, which means you have at your disposal a close-range weapon and a long-range weapon. This is the close-range weapon. It's automatic and used for slicing enemies that are getting too close to your car. This is your long-range weapon, which allows you to hit your enemies at long range or activate traps. Beware, your ammo is limited, so you'll need to pick up more to restock. Let's practice with your long-range weapon. See the laser pointer on your right hand? Great job! Now let's move on to the fun part, driving. You can accelerate swiftly by pressing the left index trigger. Now, try accelerating the car. Great! Note that you can turn left and right by using your left stick. Exactly. And note that if you prefer to steer by tilting your left controller, you can visit the game settings and change that. All right. You can do a tilt instead. Now, brake using the left-hand trigger until you stop the car completely. Excellent. See the pickup item in front of you? Go ahead and drive to it. Congratulations! You know how to drive this car. Wonder what this pickup does. The blue energy bar in front of you depicts your energy level. When you press A, you'll boost but consume some energy. Well, I'm energy glad. can be used for boosting or shielding up. They, they, you they, gain energy by killing opponents, power drifting, performing barrel rolls, or picking up an energy bonus. They address the texture. The texture the green used to bar be like you depicts your hull. Two sand colors. If a shot so you hits tell. you, you'll lose some hull. This is nice. If someone shoots at you, you'll lose some hull. When your hull resistance falls to zero, your car will explode and you'll lose precious race time. Time for blazing speeds now. Press A to boost to complete the training. Congratulations! You've successfully passed the basic training. You can now engage other drivers in fierce races in Nitro's demonic universe. For more control options such as power drifting, style jumping, special car ability, switching cameras and so on, please go to our advanced training. But in the meantime, good luck. And remember one thing, all shots are allowed. You buy Pico too? Oh no, I've, I've, I've played with the Pico and it is terrible. And it's got like no software for it. Um, no, that's when I tried it two years ago, so maybe it's gotten better, but it was, oh, it was bad. Literally like the worst uh, sixed off headset I've ever played with. Crude, bad uh, You'd be better off choosing a different core. Will the play? Uh, try getting the action here now. Thanks for asking. So I check. That's the right trigger to select the vehicle. If you play power, this car will disappoint. Thank you. Small, but it is absolutely effective. 
good handling. Rotter D60. This one is my this hot rocket in bully your enemies off the road in this monster. Holy cow, what is that? Laser beam? Oh, you like style, huh? This car has plenty of that. The Phoenix. I don't know, which one should we, I'll just try the, try the white one. I think I did the white one last time. Uh, when I played this at OC6, I think that's what we did. It's pretty neat looking. Lies the fuel which feeds the heart of its war machine. Oil fields! Is there no better place to risk it all for victory? Kill. Push me with your index finger to use your special ability. Alright. We'll be good. Oh, someone shot me. One of your flaming skulls exploded on all of them. Right. Looks like the racer has a few new holes to breathe through now. Boom! Gone! Like a magic trick. I have to look away, that was rocking for the kill. So you basically have to fight and drive at the same time. Huh? I would I would be interested in playing multiplayer, we gotta definitely check that out. Uh oh. Some great helicopters today. Bring your umbrella. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a totally different. You've slayed another! Like you could use that. It'll rattle off your I head. love how short this vehicle is. It's really, like, low to the ground. Makes me feel really powerful. Do it again! I love it when you do that! Ah! Okay. So you can go outside and inside. On your headstone, you will read too damn slow. You shouldn't make... The thing is, how do you protect yourself? Like, you just get shot at it and that's it, right? Like you have almost no recourse, right? Yes, kill. We don't want to be canceled. This is heavy. Boom! Another life ended. Sorry. Killed one of them, but then he got me. Protect yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> Helicopters today. Put your umbrella. This is the final lap? I think this is the final lap. Kaboom! <laughs> I definitely want to know what this is like playing with other players because. What is that? Oh. Stay away from him. They didn't see that coming. Flying in the air is cool. Snowball. 
side. Boost for the gun. My barbed wire caught somebody. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. One of those packs enough punch to blast someone to teeny tiny pieces. The last see lap. That coming. The last lap. Come on. Woo. Barely won. I killed ten people though. I'm finding the music a little repetitive already. Not necessarily a good sign. Do another race. Switch car though. So that one. Try, try a different car. Different race. And then I want to try multiplayer. So we'll have done two AI races and then we'll try multiplayer. Hope you guys are enjoying this smorgasbord of quest games. Just a quick touch on each of them. I give you the maniacal coaster. A beast of steel and asphalt, unruly and hungry like me. A monster so deadly that no one has made it to its end. No harness can save you from tragedy. <laughs> that guy's such a joker. See, I really like him. He's like Tanya from, from uh, Red Alert. Oh. Oh, I forgot to pull the trigger. No ammo. Oh shoot, we have to collect ammo. Didn't even know you needed ammo. Thousand dollars says you can't do that again. I still have no ammo. I have no bullets. Somebody got that. I did a bloody murderous death. Now I want to watch the replay on the that random. one. Oh. While you're up there, put the moon from the sky. Did I get any? I have no idea what to do with this car. You don't have any pickup bonus. Alright. Is that ammo? That's ammo. Okay. Score! Ow. Should have oh. No, you're up. Okay, so I can blast him with a rocket launcher. Let them burn. I'll be down with the mash pad. Great shot. Let's see if I can get through. Yeah, this is like a long no, rocket launcher. Through the air like a missile. Yeah, I had a missile. Oh. Kind of hard to tell. Ah. No. Ooh, came out of nowhere. That kill was. Eh. Could do with more fire. I'm 
Like, it seems okay. Um, I really would want to play with somebody, though. There's, like, plenty of AI. And then, like, they, they seem to just attack you, like, straight away. So... Is that supposed to be bullets? Is that what that is? I can't really tell. It looks like a claw or something. Well, looks like the racer has a few new holes. Woo! What? Oh! I accidentally did a stunt. Wait, that was brutal! He likes the fact that I killed the guy. On the inside here. Right around now. No. Oh, come on. Oh, you bollocks. Someone fell into your barb net. You naughty boy. Just before the ending. That's a little frustrating. I thought I had that one. Guess not. All right. Let's go main menu and see if anyone's playing in multi. And if not, we'll just move on to our last title of the night. Vacation Simulator. Route 706. We'll look the, the menu system is really nice. I think they did a good job there. Core gameplay is probably what I have a problem with at the moment. It's a little bit messy. Let's see. So I guess we can talk to people. It'd be funny if we actually get a map. Quick flame, ride the this mega route 70. What happened to Doesn't even show a server? That rock engine, that old muscle car. Five one. feet high off the ground, those tires will screw. We'll see. Uh, like, I don't even know if I'm getting in with real players. You were first, uh, yeah, I was very close anyway. Huh. I guess people are actually playing. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Good. I didn't know there's cat. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know there's people out there. <laughs> Maybe not. You know you don't want to be Oh. I want to eat you with my claws. Well, you can keep it back then. Oh man, your audio isn't so good. Damn. Good job. Made it with all your fitness and time. Okay. You slayed another! Let's see, I got two of them. I don't know what lap we're in on. I'm position five and six though, so that's not good. Uh, I am not doing good either. I didn't even realize you could press this game and it adds stuff to you. It's not completely equal. Oh! Shit, it's got eaten by a sandworm. <laughs> well, I'm glad we've actually uh, got... I guess it's just us two and then bots, is it? Holy cow. I don't know. Anyone else out there? Ah! Why? Oh, why is this so slow? Yeah, I don't know why we're so slow. Quick, upload that kill. You'll get a million hits. Gonna kill Jennifer? Yeah, that's me. Oh, you're Jennifer? Yeah, I was wondering. Looks like the bots are beating us. I don't know how to use the uh, special ability on this guy. It's really weird. Oil field? Yeah, I... I thought you... I've been using the thing. Oh, it's automatic, isn't it? If you get close to them, then it automatically attacks them. I think that's how it is. Right? Is that... That's Steven. Must be a bot. Steven? Is that his name? I'm Zim. And I'm... Uh, uh, Steven. 
I just never expected that name like that. Then, oh my god! That's a giant fish. I'm trying to just get the controls down. This is the weirdest gun. Yeah, it's nice when you're not fighting AI because people don't have like this insane ability. Oh, so sad. It's a twat. Why did you wait so long? That's for the show. Wow, we can tell ghost stories around your pretty wreckage. There we are, Jennifer. I'm gonna come eat your car. Come here. No! No, come back here. Stop boosting. Yes! No. <laughs> Just be past. Nice job. Oh my god, it was crazy. Well, at least it worked. All right, I'm gonna jump off. It's nice, nice drive with you, Jonathan. Thank you. Uh, this is my second day playing this game. <laughs> I'm actually. You're actually um, down to twenty percent. God, we're timing this very well. I think we're doing a good job that way. Excellent. Yeah, that person's mic was absolutely shocking. Yeah, absolutely shocking. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is vacation sim. Uh, which I've never played, actually. This is brand new for me. Right. Oi. Let's just uh, swap this up. Da, 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 da. All right. Let's see here now. Difference around vacations. And what do we want? Something like that. All right. Good. And vacations. Okay, go for some foresty greens and some, no, that, that's not great. Let's go for that. There we go. Time for vacation simulator. The last one for the evening. Ah, yes. Right. Goody two shoes. Goody, goody two shoes. Right, let's try this out. Uh, vacation sim. What have we got next? Who have we got in chat? We've got Umbrella. A few others. Um, all right, let's check it out. Uh, I'm going to go for vacation sim. I wonder. Um, vacate, then vacate. Yeah, I'll try. This is going to be interesting. Uh, the original job simulator was very well done, but I, I always felt like it was overhyped, like people... Um, I don't know, like streamers and that used it, abused it like crazy. And then, of course, Beat Saber came along and they're like, ah, oh! and of course, VR chat. So it was kind of vacation simulator. What was it before vacation simulator? It was the other one, the um, uh, the one from the Canadian developer uh, with the uh, physics. And you would like build puzzles and it had the cat that would you'd pull pins and pop the, pull pins out of the pin cushion cat. I'm trying to remember. Uh... I don't remember. No, don't remember. Don't know what that was. Welcome to the vacation simulator, human. Look at that. Grab one of these vacation passes to get started. That looks good. <laughs> Maybe launch that again. That looks like a foveated rendering problem. Remember we had that with Arizona Sunshine recently. Funny. And when I say funny, I mean not funny. Not funny. <laughs> it's not what you want to see in front of your game. Uh, what you saw is exactly what I saw. Mine's got a little bit of stereo depth to it, but um, basically the same same thing. Bit weird. Maybe it's like, I think it was when it was getting low on battery as well. Maybe it's like somehow related. Weird. Yeah, our good friend from Arizona Welcome Sunshine is back. Simulator human. Grab one of these vacation passes to get started. Jeez, thanks. All right, maybe not. Maybe we're not going to be able to do a vacation simulator. Uh, let's try launching something else. I mean, I could probably just re reboot the headset, but that's kind of a pain. Uh, let's try Racket NX for a second, because this is kind of cool. I also think Racket NX looks really good. But let's see if this launches. All right. 
This one seems okay. All right, sure thing. Welcome to Racket NX. Look at that. It's having the same problem. Multiplayer. Competitive rank me, baby. I don't know if I've ever played ranked Racket NX. Opponent found. Sucking me into the vortex, huh? Yo! Oh, I've got income on my face. This is not good. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, I might have to bail. Sorry, I've got a display issue. It's black in front of my eyes. I'm gonna jump. Yeah, I can't get in there. I can't, can't do that. Well, maybe it's time we just bail there then. It's a pity. Um, it's just gone about 11 o'clock, which means we're only live about two hours at this stage. Let me see if the web browser is affected before I do anything else. Uh, ba -ba -ba browser. Uh, Moonrider, as an example. I think it's probably going to affect all VR, but we're going to see. Doomsday. <laughs> Doomsday is awesome. Uh, if you like this game, you'll love sandboxing. It's funny because you can jump from one thing to the other. This is great audio. audio. It's quite fun. It's very good. Fantastic contraption. Yeah, fantastic contraption. That's exactly it. That's what I was thinking. Right. Well, I can't just uh, grab anything, unfortunately. Otherwise, let's see. Search challenges. Uh, this might just be a time to bail. Yeah. I'll try the music -y stuff off offline. One thing I was interested in, though, was maybe try to hit... Oh, I do wonder. I wonder what Orbis looks like, just to launch it. Ah, oh, shoot. Needs updates. Damn. Uh, anything else? Oh, we've got 15% battery. Uh, we could do Richie's Plank Experience, actually. I haven't touched that. It's quite short. We'll do Richie's instead. Okay. Richie apostrophe mega S. What did they teach you in school? No more mega S's. Please. Right. Let's go. But again, tonight's been like a demonstration of what you can expect with Quest. Like, it's not... Uh, just like PC, right? It's not a perfect experience, but streaming it is pretty solid. And if you put some money into the equipment, and then you can have quite a good, like, audio and visual run. Um, is it good enough for Beat Saber? Probably not. Skip plank setup. Hooray! Now the plank setup is like if you actually have a physical plank. Uh, how many gigs do you have free with all those apps installed? I actually filled the entire quest because I installed the entire store and then they did more after a while. Richie's playing experience. Hey. Okay. Karen wanted to do this. Oh, Karen, if you come in here, I will suit you up. And you can do this instead of me. Do you want to do that? If you're listening. I will give her 10 seconds to respond if she would like to do Rick, Richie's playing experience instead of me. I think it would be great to see her do it. If she wants to. Uh-huh. All right. I'm going to say that she doesn't want to, or is no longer listening. Let's do... Plank Expense.
Okay, please. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, God. You know, I've, I've played VR a lot, but this is still... <laughs> Oh wait, there's a green screen in front of me. That's never gonna work. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, I'll show you here anyway. So we're just gonna quit that. I'll show you the, the install space because you asked. Let's see. I think I've got about 10 gig free, but I've got the 128 gig version. Let's see here. Storage. Okay, 30 gig free, right? 30 gig of 110, which is the effective volume. And then you can see, for instance, the largest, National Geographic. Oh, I, I uninstalled a few, actually. But um, here, I'll show you. Does it tell us how many? I don't think it tells us how many. I can show you the kind of app footprint that I've got anyway, just to, as a reminder. So here you go. This is what I have installed. Ooh, Star Trek Bridge Crew. I'd love to launch that and just see what this is all about. Aspire 1 is really good as well. It's a pity we're getting that visual error. But with all this stuff installed, like Dance Central is pretty heavy as well. Um, oh, we've got 12, we've got 12%. Let's, let's do something. Let's do Cave Digger. We can't do anything else. Let's do Cave Digger. Cave Digger is awesome. I love Cave Digger. It's really cool. All right, let's do that. This was like free for a while. I think it was to like let people acclimate and understand what it was. And oh, it's just great. I love Cave Digger. You'll see what it is. It's kind of a fun little app. Oh, jeez. Jeez Louise. Okay. And away we go. Ah, oh. <laughs> wow. Wow, these glitches are interesting. I don't know why. That's a big bug, eh? Well, that's not good. I should probably just restart it and then we'll see if the issue persists. Because if it, if it, yeah, there we go. I'll just restart it and then hopefully we'll be good. That is a problem. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not really that warm. No. And I normally would hear the fan going if it was, if it was, it's, it's a little warm, but it's not like, it's not like. Scary warm. Yeah. Weird. That was loud. Ow. <laughs> you probably had that as loud as, as I did. The boot up noise is quite strong. Anyway. Ah, Jesus Louise. Hopefully I've been having a good time. Um, I was glad to be able to share some of the kind of basics of, of how I do this. And as I said, like compiling all that information, as I started to put it together, I was like, oh my God, there's actually like lots to put together. And this isn't something that's gonna just be easily covered in like a single video or something. So I wanted to grow like a repository of this information. And so that's the plan to have the website, which I'll probably work on if, uh, if I come off early tonight. Hey Welsh, how's it going? We're having an okay time the moment. yippee ki -yay. Okay, I need to connect myself. Connect yourself before you wreck yourself. Right, hold on. <laughs> this is gonna look really awkward for a second because it's short cable and it's kinda gotta face that way. And I kinda gotta look that way. 
So this is, now I have a much longer cable, but I don't usually use it. Um, let's see. I had to do this one, one, one time before and it was, um, it was equally awkward. Oh, oh this is going to be, hold on, all right, we'll do this a little bit easier. Pull that up a little bit. There we go. Now I can enter some commands, sort stuff out here. It's the problem of being double tethered is when you have to take the headset off, then it gets a little bit complicated. So I have to be ready for doing that. Oh, how are you, Welsh? You all right? Oh, man. That time stall game looks really sick. Looks really good. I think I'm going to play that on Twitch then. Good. Now we'll see if uh, we've addressed the issue we were facing. I hope so. Hoi. Okay. Let's jump back here. And if we, if we can, we're gonna play a little bit of Cave Digger until the battery flattens, and then that's that. <laughs> that's it. Power is low. That's what you normally get. I think when you're below twenty percent. Was just telling me. So you gotta sort your stuff out, and don't worry. I will. Okay. What's happening? I heard the beep. Uh, oh, there we are. There's the controllers. That's something. Maybe Quest is having a problem. Oh, good. Thanks. Apart from having slow internet issues, which is preventing you from streaming. Oh, all right, Welsh. Yeah. That's always annoying. I once had to rely on, like, a MiFi device, if you know what those are, for quite a while. Actually, you know what? The Oculus interface isn't responding at all. I don't know what's going on. Quest is having a, a, a tough day. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there um, instead of struggling on. And, uh, yeah, we'll just call it five engineer visits and still not sorted. Holy cow. That sounds like it's back at the exchange rather than being a problem of yours, honestly. That's what it sounds like. Um, but, yeah, there you go. So, look, thanks, everybody, for uh, tuning in. Look, I'm covered in wires now. <laughs> Get that thing off me. Get it off me. Um, get rid of them. And that's that. So if you want like really good audio uh, with your Quest streaming, then that's the method to use. That's definitely the, the way that I would recommend. Um, labs are really handy. Antlion uh, Mod Mic, which I covered a little bit earlier, is like this little case of pieces. And you basically have that and you have a Mod Mic little doohickey. That's my tag, by the way. It doesn't come with that label. Stick that in your PC pops up. I had to configure mine down to only one out of a hundred on the volume setting in Windows for it to sound good. And then I use the omnidirectional pickup on the mic, not the directional one. It just sounds better to me. So that's that. It's quite an expensive piece of kit though. Um, but the cool thing is that it does work with other headsets. So if you have a PSVR as well, it's easy enough to kind of stick glue the little sticky nubs on and you do get enough to at least suit two headsets maybe a third even try to remember I think it's just two and then and then Bob's your uncle so there's like three different audio solutions we did have you tried last labyrinth yet that was mentioned no 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 Welsh uh, I do have that planned I've written it down I'm not usually that quick to get to stuff um, I have a whole I have a whole wall of suggestions that I need to play and anytime I'm like what game will I play I look over to the wall and then I pick one up from there there's like a bunch of things on there oh we've done boiling steel at this stage that's good did that one i still need to do the persistence star shelter again do the i expect you to die update um did a few other things yeah i mean i could come and do uh stuff with the oculus go but i'll do a separate stream for that will you stream autica when it comes to the quest this month sure brandon i like i like autica um, I'm actually a big fan of Autica, and, and honestly, in the Quest, it's going to be a perfect match. 
So my general rule is kind of do everything. It's just I've been doing things a little bit out of order. For those who aren't, who, who are new or don't know, like in uh, October, I had some really bad uh, neck issues that I had to get sorted with physiotherapy. And it took me about three months. So that kind of I'm still recovering from that backlog because there's been so many good games coming out. So even over the holiday period, like December was a little bit slow. January is going to continue to be pretty slow, which means I have time to like catch up, which is what I'm trying to do between here and Twitch. So as I said, I also run uh, stuff on Twitch, which uh, is a new thing for 2020 because I had totally departed, wasn't doing any VR content on there. And now like catch up material, not, not new games, but like if I'm playing through the middle of a game, like let's say like a Boneworks or an Asgard's or something, um, or finishing off a game I'd started here, then I'll do some of that on Twitch just as a kind of like a for myself type of stream. Anyway, look out for the, uh, look out for the coming website, um, which is going to be, as I said, zimtalk5.com slash VR. Um, if you're a creator looking for tips, and I will happily answer any questions that any of you have um, in Discord or on Twitter. And hit me up in either of those. Anyway, thanks everybody for hanging out tonight. Appreciate that. And um, yeah, I think it's time for bed. So y'all have to kind of take off now. Get out of here. Out of my room. This is my room now. <laughs> I'm going to take it back. All right. Well, fun one. See you again. See you soon. On the next one of these. Yippee ki -yay. My car don't look like a Do you like cows? I don't own that house. I like cows. Am I too changed? Good night, Robin. Good night, chat. Good night, Welsh. Cheers. I can't buy you a diamond necklace. Being good with money takes practice. But somehow I don't mind at all. Cause no one's got what we got. We hit it up on rooftops. No matter what they say, we will do this our way. Just for the thrill of it, nothing kind of it with you. Just the thrill of it. Just for the thrill of it, nothing kind of it with you. Just the thrill of it. Just for the thrill of it. Just me and you got me thinking I swear we all in